What's up guys? So in this video, I buy not one additional personal grail, but two new grails. Watch this video and find out what I got. Man, this is ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. What is up guys? Happy uh, Friday, Junior! Also known as Thursday. The reason I'm filming a video right now is because I have heard, I gotta take this out of my freaking mouth, hold on. Uh, the reason I'm filming a video right now is because I'm going to Target because I have heard on the internet that some of the Marvel Legends two packs are half price at Target. So I'm gonna try my luck. Super Scroll and Spider-Woman and the Captain Marvel and Doctor Doom. Those are the two I really, really want. I don't know if they have them half price. That's the main thing is that I don't think all targets are the same as far as when they put stuff on clearance. And my target seems to be a little late to the game all the freaking time when it comes to the clearance stuff. Oh, I'm also looking for the NECA uh, Dracula in color and the Creature from the Black Lagoon. So those might be pickups if they got those and the Marvel Legends are still full price. So there you go. All right, we're at Target. Wish me luck. What? Can't drink a freaking malt liquor in a Target? What the hell's this world coming to? All right, first stop, NECA. No creature. They got mummy. They got, who's that? That's mummy also. They got Frankenstein, Wolfman. So, yeah. No creature. Strike out. I usually hit up this aisle first, Star Wars and wrestling, but today I'm making an exception. What's that? Scourge. Today I'm making an exception. What's that? Did I even know this Superman was coming out? It's not bad looking actually. Huh. Interesting. Uh, I don't see any clearance stickers. They're full price, guys. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. They're late as hell of a game once again. Look, four of those, three of those, an ass ton of the freaking Hawkeyes, uh, four Hulks. They're not going to ring up for half price. Watch. Just watch. Watch. watch before I go check prices just seeing if they have Samoa Joe yet no still got the Adam Cole baby I think Samoa Joe's um, release date's like October 1st so hopefully they start getting them in that's new that's a vintage collection that's VC baby but for 45 damn come on guys Five. That's no bueno. It's muy. How do you say? It? Como se dice expensive in Spanish? It's muy expensive, so. All right. Let's go. Oh, that's cool. That's freaking sweet, actually. 18 van. Uh, what do we got here? Ray Ray. Who's this? Uh, all right, let's go check prices on these guys. Okay, uh, where the hell did all the freaking price checking machines go? Seriously, they're all gone. Is this part of the plan? Freaking take out all the price checking machines so we just gotta pay full price for frick's sake. All right, is it gonna be there? Ah, uh, you freaking suck. What the hell, Target? What in the actual hell? Now I gotta take it up to customer service. I gotta have them scan it. Tell me if it's full price. Let's cut through the bra section. Boobies. All right, so I asked a, a nice worker lady and she checked the price and they're full price. So they're not on clearance here yet. Let's check an end cap to see if there is anything on clearance, which there's not. But um, 
I guess we'll give it another go tomorrow, the next day, whenever the heck they decide to put them on clearance uh, and catch up with the rest of the targets. But uh, yeah, that's the way the ball bounces. So I struck out on the clearance. I was kind of expecting that to happen because this target very, very typically is very late on putting their stuff on clearance. So I'm expecting that stuff to hopefully go on clearance maybe Monday, uh, cause they usually do their resets I think on Monday morning. So I'm expect, I don't think they're gonna do anything until then. I might check back Saturday to see if they got them on clearance, but they're well stocked. So unless some dude freaking comes in and cleans them all out, I think I have a good chance at getting at least the two that I really want. That super scroll, freaking, why is the freaking sun in my face? Uh, super scroll and then the, um, Oh my God, it's a clawful moment again. Uh, Super Scroll and not Hulk. That one's okay, I'm thinking about that one. The other one is, oh, the freaking Doctor Doom and Captain Marvel. Oh my God, people. Jeez Louise, it seems like every single freaking episode now, I'm forgetting something that I literally just saw. Have fun getting old, motherfuckers. Jesus criminy. All right, so. While I did strike out, unfortunately, on the clearance pricing, I did not leave empty-handed uh, because I did use a Target Circle offer. It was $15 off of toys if you spent over 75 bucks. And I know this is kind of backwards logic because I could have probably just bought the Marvel Legends while they were here and been guaranteed them, but I would rather wait for half price because that's just like sensible buying, right? So I did not buy the Marvel Legends. I used my $15 Target Circle offer on these. It came out to $105, took the $15 off, came out to about 90 buckarooskies, which is about 30 bucks per figure, which I was happy with. So I picked up, bam, a Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein, not Dr. Frankenstein, Frankenstein monster. Hell freaking yes. And yes, I got it in color. Because if you watch my channel, you'll, you'll be like, dude, I thought you already owned those. I have them in black and white. And I gotta say, the more I looked at these color ones, the more I like these more. Plus, plus, the accessory packs, specifically the mummy sarcophagus, the Frankenstein table, and then the Dracula coffin, those are all in color. So, and I like the way they look. I think it completes like a scene. So my plan, while I already have a couple of the black and white ones, was to kind of forget about those, to buy the color versions of these Universal Monsters and to pick up the accessory pack. So, bam, mummy, mummy. I got the mummy in color, looks freaking badass. It's just something about it being in color, it brings out a lot more in the figure than the black and white version. The black and white was cool. Black and white screen accurate, obviously. Uh, but man, just, and then the Wolfman, I got the Wolfman. Something about this one, man. It just looks badass. Freaking awesome with the green shirt and the brown pants and his freaking fur looking brown. Just awesome. I don't know if he comes with an accessory pack. Probably not. Or maybe he does, I don't know. So there you go. I dropped uh, like 90, I had a little gift card. So it came out to out of pocket, it came out to 76 bucks. So I essentially paid about $25 per figure, which I am absolutely happy with. Uh, so yeah, Wolfman, bam, Frankenstein, and the mummy, bam. So um, I guess next steps, I'm gonna get that Dracula, I'm gonna get that creature, I think Dracula I can get on Amazon, so I can get that shipped by tomorrow. And then I'll have a nice little color Universal Monsters display, because I'm gonna get some freaking sarcophagi coffin, and it'll be a nice little display. So there you go, guys. There was my target. No clearance action yet, but I'll keep trying. And uh and I'll show you what I find. So I'm not sure what the next clip's gonna be, but we'll see. I'll see you then. All right, I went back to Target. It is Saturday and the Legends are on clearance. So they're all half price. 
So I got uh, Dr. Doom, uh, Super Scroll, and I'm thinking about getting the Hulk because it's a uh, 30 instead of 60. So um, yeah, half price. How freaking yes. And it took a few days for them to, uh, to do that, but uh, I'm happy that they are on sale, baby. So it looks like uh, the Rose is also $12.49. And these might be on clearance too. The Karnak and the, is that Marvel Boy? But uh, yeah, 29 for Hulk, 25 for Doom in this Marvel or Captain Marvel, 28 for Super Scroll. So it looks like the Joes are also half price. They had a bunch of the Python Crimson here, but they're cleaned out now. Someone bought them all. They got a bunch of the Dusties um, looks like the Dungeons and Dragons figures are also on clearance. Oh, Hugh Grant there. Uh, anything else? Hmm. I did pick up a, uh, if you can see it there, a Hulk. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to walk around, think about it, see if, uh, I want to pick that up, but... Definitely picking up the scroll and Dr. Doom two packs. All right, I'm back at the house. I realized that I did not film very much at Target, mostly because we were buying groceries and stuff for my mom. So had a full cart. I don't know. There's a lot of people there too. People were looking at me. Will's taking a dump ski. Like I'm running around like a maniac. Hey, no, Willie. Look at him. He's trying to eat leaves. Where is he? There he is. Look at that little dummy. So, yeah, mission successful. Mission accomplished. Found Speaking of dummies, how about our pool cleaner? Look at it. Freaking dummy pool cleaner. Dummy robot. Some dumb robots. Robots are so dumb. Then you got this guy. This guy. Got the Hulk. I was going back and forth on the Hulk. Got the Hulk and Banner. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? It's 30 bucks for a big ass Hulk and a Banner. I don't have a Banner. I don't have a gray Hulk. I have a green Hulk. Still need a red Hulk. I'll be looking for a red Hulk. Probably gonna have to go to eBay on that one. Got the Super Scroll, got the Spider Woman. I'll probably keep Spider Woman in Spider Woman form and not scroll form. Put her on the Avenger shelf. And then I got the... Uh, Doctor Doom, holy frick. Got the, I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Two pack, Doctor Doom and Captain Marvel. I paid 86 total for all three three packs. Hell frickin' yes to Clarence and Target, love it. Long game, baby, long game pays off. Right now I'm drinking this stuff. Drinking my greens. This is what you gotta do when you're in your 40s, my friends. You gotta drink green stuff. And then you got this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, next clip. I'll see you there. I got quite a haul here, so let me just go ahead and share this, and then you'll find out what two grails I picked up. I picked up the Bam accessory pack with the beautiful freaking sarcophagus. Look at that. I'm so excited to display the mummy inside the freaking sarcophagus there. Uh, I got this one here. Very, very excited to get this one. Dracula. Got the Dracula. Hello, Dracula there. And then I picked up this one. This one was kind of on a whim. I was not going to pick this one up. Uh, definitely want to get the Creature from the Black Lagoon. I'm thinking about getting Bride of Frankenstein. I was, again, not going to get this. But I saw it, and I really, really liked the way it looked in person. Phantom of the Opera. So, I mean, look at that. Those head sculpts, man. Those freaking head sculpts, they look so good. And they are right there. So, Phantom of the Opera. We're going the Universal Monsters shelf ski. Got this one right here. This was a uh, Target exclusive. Um, I commented on Instagram that this is probably my favorite modern dead line to collect. Uh, I'm talking about Indiana Jones. Why am I calling it a dead line? Has Hasbro shown us any new figures that they're putting out? 
No. Have they put out a swordman? Have they put out a freaking mechanic? Have they put out a uh, freaking Willy from Temple of Doom? Have they put out Mola Ram? Lao Che? Chi? However you say it? No. Have they put out a freaking River Phoenix from Last Crusade opening scene? Have they put out the dude that gave him the freaking hat? No. Those are all figures that Hasbro could very, very easily make and I would very, very easily buy and probably only me because all the damn figures at Target are going on clearance except for this one. This one's exclusive. But uh, yeah, I just don't think that the uh, demand for Indiana Jones is out there. If Hasbro was to continue the adventure series, I would definitely buy some more, but it doesn't look like they are. So, you know, fingers crossed. Hopefully they make more, but I'm not very confident. G.I. Joe's. This is my current favorite modern uh, alive line, not dead line, uh, because they just keep pumping out figures. Um, a couple of these I didn't even remember ordering, uh, but let me show you what I got. I got Go Grunt. Seems like everyone's getting their grunts in. That didn't sound right. Uh, I picked up one of my favorite figures as a kid, Low Light. I love Low Light so much. He was a pocket figure for me. I actually used to carry the Low Light around in my pocket. Badass. I'm so freaking happy that they made this in classified form. I freaking love classified. It, it's honestly my favorite thing. I, I think I've said this publicly on social media, I could give up everything except for one line and that would be classified. If I had to stop collecting everything but one line and just stick with one line, goodbye everything, I would stick with classified. Yes, that even means that I would give up freaking vintage collection and all my awesome vehicles up there. That's how much I love classified, so. Uh, these are the ones that I did not even remember ordering, but apparently I did because I got a notification from Walmart that I did. I got charged for it, I paid for it, and then they shipped it to me, so hell freaking yes. Uh, Big Ben, Night Force Big Ben, Walmart exclusive. Again, I thought I missed out on these. And then I had said, I think in the last video, that I uh, was in search of a range viper because I missed out on that. Uh, apparently I did not miss out on it because I got two of them. So I ordered two at some point. Maybe I was like half sleeping when it went live on Walmart and I decided to order, but hell freaking yes, two, army of two, range vipers. I went to my local Walmart and I saw this on the shelf. I had no freaking clue that they were even making this. Uh, and that seems to be kind of the MO with McFarlane figures and the fact that It'll just show up. It'll just show up and be on the pegs at your store. And you're like, I didn't freaking know that they were making that. And that goes for this one right here. It is the Vampire's Green Lantern. Holy frick. I saw this, I saw this, and I was like, oh my God, that looks really good. The head sculpt, the green translucent effects. This is like the best looking Green Lantern I've ever seen from McFarlane. Uh, maybe one of the best Green Lanterns I've, I've seen, period. Just an awesome looking figure. Here's the art. I think this was a variant cover for uh, DC vs. Vampires, that comic line. That's what these are based on, by the way. DC vs. Vampires. I didn't read the line. Uh, James Tinian, I think, was the writer. If you read DC vs. Vampires, please let me know. Uh, and I will definitely pick it up. But, um, hell freaking yes. This will go with my Batman. I'm in search of Superman. I think that's my number one most wanted DC McFarlane figure right now is the Vampire's Superman. I think that was a gold label also. So I'll be looking for that one. And then I decided to go online to target.com just to see what was dropping. I originally went there to look at like the NECA stuff that was dropping because they did like four new figures. My Bloody Valentine, a freaking Casey Jones from Mirage with the red shirt, freaking uh, black and white creature from Black Lagoon, and I don't remember what the fourth one was. But anyway, I got sidetracked, started looking at figures on Target.com, and I was like, oh, that released? And then I was like, oh, that released? So um, I actually, I bought them and did a uh, store pickup, and I got two figures. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna pick up the figures and then I'm gonna take them to the figure section. I'm gonna look at the rest of them and compare paint jobs. And I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna take it to the counter. I'm gonna be like, hey, can I swap it out for this one? I like this paint more. But you know what? They didn't even have them on the damn shelves. The shelves were like empty at my Target. So these are in stock at my Target, but not on the shelves, which was kind of weird. 
uh, and the fact that I guess they're not street dated because I was able to pick up these two. What am I talking about? First, I'm talking about the AEW Target exclusive Samoa Joe. I've been really looking forward to picking up this figure. I'm a huge Samoa Joe fan, and um, this to me, at least, I haven't opened it, but this looks like probably the best Samoa Joe action figure that I've ever seen. So, I mean, this looks awesome. Again, they didn't have any of these on the shelves. Uh, this kind of looks like a lot of reuse of a previous figure, but hey, I needed it. I needed this uh, Magneto figure, and I got this one. This is the X-Men 97 Marvel Legends Magneto. No freaking yes. Uh, what I ended up doing was buying four figures. Two I had to ship because they didn't have in stock at Target, but I bought four figures, and there's uh, $25 if you spend over $100. My bill came out to like $102. I was able to save $25, which was freaking awesome. And I got free shipping on the two figures that are being shipped to me. So you'll see those two figures as soon as I receive those. I gotta do my collection video next. I'm gonna break it down to at least two videos. The first video you see my collection video is gonna be all my vintage stuff. I'm gonna do all the vintage stuff in one video and then I'm gonna do the rest of the stuff in another video, and I might break break out my vintage collection, my three and three quarter inch stuff, into its own video. So, and then I might do an update on uh, my Hot Toys stuff because I've I've gotten some new ones since the last time you saw that video. So, what would that be? Four four videos. Uh, so yeah, I might just break it down just so it's uh, easier to consume and it's not a freaking hour long video. Um, but there you go there. Uh, but hell freaking yes, I'm so happy I got this Magneto. It's, this one looks awesome. Very, very cool, but again, reuse, but that's okay, I needed it. And then, my man Rob Choi. Rob Choi is a, dare I say, legendary toy hunter in California. This man posted pictures every time he saw this in a store. I swear he ran across like six of these. Like, I'm serious. I, I was like, how the hell do you keep finding these? I'm like, Rob, would you mind picking up one of those bad boys for me? I will. I am PayPal ready. Uh, so I was able to send him some money. He was able to pick one of these up. I'm very freaking excited because I have the regular version right over here, actually. Bam. This is John Moxley, AEW. This is a regular version. And Rob, again, ran into like six of the chases on his uh, visits to, I think he saw him at Target, but hell freaking yes. So I got the regular Moxley, I got the Chase Moxley. One of my favorite wrestlers. Awesome, very, very cool. It looks like the only difference is he's wearing a jacket there, so. But uh, this is gonna stay in box. I might get one of those protective cases for this uh, figure, because this looks really awesome. Um, I do have uh, one new pickup. Uh, it's a vintage figure. I happen to get an Empire toy, shout out to those guys. But I got an Empire toy. I'm gonna save that for the vintage toy collection video. This G.I. Joe figure that I picked up, I think it was the most expensive figure I still needed. So uh, I got that one. So let's talk about some stuff that I picked up at Keith's Comics, my friends. So Keith's Comics, they had a sale, a little sale of Ruski at Keith's, and uh, it was 25% off Eastman and Laird's Mirage Studios Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic books. If you did not know, uh, that was what I started my love of the turtles with is the, the comics in the mid 80s, like 84. And my favorite run was like issues one through 25. So my goal was to get issues one through 25 and there's a bunch of them that I still needed. So I went to Heath's comics and um, took advantage of that because they had some of the ones I needed and I was able to get them for 25% off. Let me show you which ones I picked up, starting with this one right here. This is issue number 11, <clears throat> Eastman and Laird's, TMNT, freaking awesome. Issue 11, they had 25 on that. Again, I got it for 25% off of the prices that you're gonna see. I got issue 12. Never had this issue as a kid, never had issue 12. Always wanted it, but now I got it. Hell freaking yes. And it was, uh, again, 25. I got 25% off of that. This one, I love this cover so much. Issue 14. They had 30 on that. 
And issue, this is such a cool cover, issue 15, right there. Very busy cover, right there. Issue 15, I made a 25 on that. And now I'd like to show you one of the personal grails that I picked up. I have an issue two, I have an issue three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't have a four. I definitely want a four. I want the second print of four because it's the same cover as the NES game. But I did not have an issue one until now. Bam. Hell frickin' yes. Issue one, TMNT. 1985, they had $125 on it, because it's a uh, it's a fourth print. The first print's like several, several tens of thousands of dollars, <laughs> so it's not like I'm gonna be able to just like afford that right now. Even the second and third prints command a very, very high dollar amount. They did a fourth and a fifth. They did the fifth print for the movie, I think in 1990, but this one was done in 85. This was the first time they did a, a new cover for issue one. I think the first three prints were all the same cover, but this was a new cover for TMNT, again, from 1985. So I got it for 25% off. So I ended up paying less than a hundred bucks for TMNT number one. Hell freaking yes. Obviously, I'd like to get in uh, first, second, and third print, but I don't know if that's gonna be uh, financially viable for me. Uh, I'd probably have to sell a lot of stuff to be able to afford some of those prints, but very, very, very happy. I finally have an issue one of TMNT. All right, uh, I've got two more things to show you, including my second grail item. So from time to time, I do like to indulge in some online shopping. I like to shop on eBay, I like to shop on different websites for different stores. I got these on eBay, including this one right here, which is a slab. I'm really, really enjoying the Ahsoka series, by the way. And the reason that I decided to just give you that tidbit of information is because this comic book right here is the first ever appearance of Grand Admiral Thrawn. This is Star Wars Heir to the Empire. I think this is from 95? October of 1995. I got a 9-0, and as you can see there, first appearance of Thrawn. Hell freaking yes. Heir to the Empire, slabbed, preserved, beautiful cover. There's Thrawn in the background there. You see his big ass head? His blue face kind of blends in with the sky, but uh, hell freaking yes. Very, very happy to pick this one up. This was not a grail or anything. This is just, I'm really enjoying Ahsoka. I wanted to, you know, the first appearance of Ahsoka is a lot of dollars. That one skyrocketed. And I just have a feeling that Thrawn is going to be a very big deal in Star Wars going forward. So this is kind of a spec book, um, but also, you know, I like Thrawn as a character, so. I decided to get his first appearance slab. 9-0, first appearance of Thrawn. And that brings us to the conclusion of this video. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video, by the way. I appreciate it. If you are local to the DFW area, by the way, I am going to be uh, set up. We're doing our own little mini toy show at Dave's store, Back Alley Toys in Garland, Texas. This Saturday, October, is it the 7th? Uh, October 7th, I think 12 to 5 is when we're going to be set up. Uh, I'm bringing a lot of stuff, bringing a lot of toys. So if you're in the DFW, if you want to make a little road trip and you want to check out what me, Craig, not another retro channel, and Dave are selling at his store, come on down, come hang out with us. We're going to be playing video games and stuff. He has an N64. I'm going to play some Goldeneye, selling some stuff. I'm probably going to bring some hot toys to sell just to make some room. So uh, come on down and see what we got. And uh, I look forward to seeing you there. Again, Back Alley Toys, October 7th, Garland, Texas, 12 to five, come see us. And here is the second of the grails that I picked up. Again, personal grail, Werewolf by Night. Loved the special, loved the character, loved the special. I can't wait to see it again in color. Um, I had his second appearance in Marvel Spotlight. I had his 
issue number one of his ongoing series, Werewolf by Night, but I never ever had his first ever appearance in comic books. The first appearance of Jack Russell, the Werewolf by Night, until now. This was probably my most sought after comic book for quite some time, and I finally picked it up. The Marvel Spotlight number two, the first ever appearance of Werewolf by Night. In a 4.5, looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. From 1972, this in here is older than, I would say, like 90% of us that are watching this video, including myself right now. This predates me by like three years. So this is historical to me. This is amazing. Bam. They used to have ads like this on the back of comic books. 1972. If you're older than this comic book, shout out in the comments because uh, big salute to you for surviving this long. But anyway, uh, how freaking yes. I'm so happy that I picked up this Grail comic book. I'm just, uh, I'm in a grail type of mood. I, I, I'm just like, you know what? I've put off long enough all these things that I've always wanted and it's just time. It's time to fulfill these needs and get these things that I've always wanted. Why put it off any longer, right? And that, my friends, is the video. So hopefully you enjoyed the little mini uh, hunt at Target, me finding that clearance stuff. And uh, this haul, I have to, I'm like surrounded by stuff down here on the floor, so. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and clean that up. Next video should be my vintage toy collection tour. And then we'll just do like a few more videos after that. But again, thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below if there's anything you saw in here that you really like. Let me know what grails you guys have. Do you have a personal grail that you're after that you wanna get? Let me know what it is. I'm interested to know what those are. So let me know in the comments, but uh, that's it for now. Have fun collecting. I will see you around the corner. Hopefully I'll see you at uh, Back Alley Toys again, October 7th, Saturday, 12 to five. But otherwise, adios for now. And did I already say have fun collecting? I think I already said that. So I'll say it again, have fun collecting. Green stuff, guys. Super greens. Come on. Don't get old, guys. Don't get old, because you gotta drink this crap. Keep you right on the inside. Tastes like ass. It's like, like if a plant had a butthole, it'd be like licking a plant's butthole. But it's good for you. It's good for you. Oh, it's easier if you just drink it really fast. <laughs>